Greetings, Crad here. I'm shooting this video quick and dirty on my cell phone to make sure that I can get it out to you guys during this brief import period that I have. It is on the flashlight collaboration between Brian Philholter, David Chow of Four Sevens, and Jack Roman of Tough Rider. And it is a flashlight in the style of Brian's tie bolt pin, so it is a bolt action flashlight, and uh, many appreciations to Dr. Jekyll, aka James Seto, for picking this up for me at the Gathering 6, G6, I was unable to attend, and he was kind enough to uh, get this from Brian and ship it to me. So this is the hard anodized aluminum version, and I knew this was going to be a cool light, but it's a lot cooler than I thought it was going to be. I uh, Not a whole lot of information was out about this, just that it is a 2CR2 powered flashlight um, and bolt action activated. But I thought it was going to be uh, maybe a cool tint and likely one mode, I mean... It's bolt action after all. The tint of the LED is actually quite nice. I'm not sure if it's going to show up in the video when I do show the beam shots. But in addition to that, it actually has several modes. So it does have a memory, so it starts off uh, wherever you left it off. So it uh, was starting off at Sturb there because I've been playing with it since I got it in the mail today. Uh, this is medium. It goes to high. I think you can tell, at least on my cell phone screen, you can tell that it is a nice uh, neutral or warm tint. And then uh, strobe. I haven't quite figured out the modes yet, so I can't tell you precisely yet how to change the modes. I mean, it's uh, done by depressing the clicky, of course, and if you want to stay on, you just uh, slide it over. Uh, not the clicky, but... Um, the bolt. However, I know from playing with it, I think it's two rapid uh, successive presses. You can get into different modes. Right here you're seeing SOS. This is a different flashing mode. And I know that there's a low, but I don't have a scientific means of telling you how to get there. There is low. So if I, uh, or when I figure out and uh, come back from C, when I figure out how to get this to load, I mean to low, uh, quickly every time I will let you know. But uh, so to get to those alternate modes, just two uh, quick presses it seems. But yeah, not not a lot of information is out about this light yet. As you can see, it's uh, serialized. This is number 16. As far as I know, these have only come out at the show. Uh, G6. They're working on making more of these. This is a hard anodized version. Uh, aluminum, of course. And there's also an uncoated aluminum version. And... At some point, there's supposed to be a full titanium version, which is probably the one that I will most want to have in my permanent collection. Here are the 247 CR2 batteries, and uh, the way that it actually comes is uh, with them sort of uh, shrink wrapped together, not shrink wrapped, but uh, packaged together in some way. And I don't know if it was uh, Dr. Jekyll or. Um, Brian, but when it was shipped to me, uh, they were inserted backwards just to ensure that, well, I can only assume to ensure that uh, it didn't come on uh, in the shipping process and kill the batteries. So I was happy to find that it had a full charge when it got to me. CR2 batteries aren't something that I normally use or stock 
but I would make an exception for a line this awesome. Uh, the output is supposed to be around 500 lumens, and uh, it does look, high does look to be up about 500 lumens to my eyes. I mean, my eyes are not a light sphere, but based on other lights that I've had and their project, projected lumen output, I don't have any reason to doubt the 500 lumen number. In case anyone was wondering, this is a Stone 18th Anniversary IPA. Uh, very excellent limited release. Uh, if you can find it in your local beer store, wherever you go to purchase your booze, whether it's a, a better grocery store or a more selective place, uh, definitely recommend looking for that one. I'm just going to wrap this up quickly. Uh, construction feels very solid. The threads are very clean and uh, not gritty at all. Very nice. Very smooth. It has a decent amount of throw. Obviously, uh, it's not an you know oversized head. It's uh, really geared for throw, but it is uh, pretty respectable. It is thicker. Um, Quite a bit thicker than, say, a 4.7's Prion light. Wish I had mine here right now to uh, show you a comparison. But yeah, this is a very cool light. Uh, when these start coming out for a more mass uh, market, I would definitely recommend uh, looking into this, especially if you have uh, tie bolt and you want something to sort of match its style in your pocket. It does run around $200. Uh, I'm not sure what the titanium version is going to run at. Um, so, of course, the design was Brian. Uh, tough writer, from what I understand. They did the modeling. And 4.7s did the actual production. Uh, the titanium version might come from Brian's shop, from what I'm hearing, as opposed to the 4.7 shop. Um, obviously the internals would probably still come from 4.7s. Maybe uh, the titanium components and the assemblage would be at Brian's shop. I think it's all still being worked out. Um, yeah, it's a very cool light. Really looking forward to uh, hearing what other people think about these as they become more uh, readily available. And uh, getting my hands on a titanium version when that comes around. As always, thanks for watching.